Hello there. So I'd like to talk to you today about uh, the five love languages. Now the five love languages are a very powerful uh, tool for relationships, friendships, family, children, animals and anyone that you interact with. So let's start off with romantic relationships with your partner, your spouse, husband, wife or, or, or in a relationship as, as such. So these tools are for people who want to be in a committed relationship want to understand each other and to give their best. So the five love languages are uh, physical touch, quality time, acts of service, uh, words of affirmation and, and giving gifts. So these five love languages are the basic five needs in relationships which help to fulfill us. Now we tend to have two or three uh, love languages that we need. It is our need, our desire to receive these uh, things in a relationship in order for us to feel topped up, really positive and enabling us to really enjoy the relationship. So often relationships uh, tend to fall apart because we don't understand one another. Uh, we, we think that we're giving our best in relationships when actually we're not hearing what the other person needs. Now this research has been researched uh, by many years by an author, I think a psychologist, helping people in marriages and, and relationship counselling. His name is Gary Chapman. I read the book about four years ago and it was amazing. Now for me, I learn in a different way. I cannot, I can read, but I don't sit and, and read a book. Uh, for me, I'm more uh, auditorial, I'm more hands-on. Me reading and, and looking at something, I don't seem to take it in so much. So I'm more of a hands-on person. So listening and being hands-on worked really well. So I had the book with a, a, a unabridged audio book, which was reading word by word. I read the whole book within a few hours. I was very committed at the time, and I was really willing to uh, learn more about relationship tools and to say the relationship I was in. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because the other person wasn't willing. And that's the thing. Two people have to be willing to uh, learn and to take action. So the five love languages are um, very important for people to, uh, to get their love that they need. Now in your heart center, um, we have like a, a place in, in the five love languages called your love tank. Now if your tank is not filled up to completion where it's 100% it's topped up, a bit like your battery in your phone, when it starts to hit uh, much lower than maybe 5%, Perhaps the camera doesn't work or apps don't start working. So it's very similar in a sense of us. So um, in order to be loved and feel loved, it's important to have our needs met. Now our needs are the five love languages. Two or three or sometimes more can be what people need. For me, my love languages are physical touch and quality time. There are other things which I enjoy, such as sometimes receiving gifts, um, having things done for me at certain times, um, you know, acts of service, um, but it's not my main one. My main one is physical touch. I like to hold hands. I like to uh, have a hug. I like to be close and intimate and spend that quality time with that person. So um, other people in a relationship, for example, so if uh, someone loves having uh, things done for them, like acts of service and positive affirmation, so speaking really positively, great words, then um, basically if the person is giving that to their partner who likes, say, quality time and they like uh, physical touch like, like me and the other person that your relationship with is giving what they need, uh, then sometimes the relationship can fall apart. So you have two people in a relationship, one with, say, quality time and physical touch, and the other person with, say, acts of service and words of affirmation. So if the other person is not getting, giving what their partner needs and vice versa, the relationship can sometimes fall apart and end. Now, this isn't down to the relationship at all. Two people can be very beautiful uh, people, very kind. However, the relationship can sometimes fall apart because your needs are not being met. So if you're watching this and perhaps you are looking for some answers, um, perhaps you're struggling in your relationship or your past relationships, try and understand more about the things that you're doing perhaps wrong or you want to learn more. Now for me, I don't know all the answers. I'm willing to learn all the time and it's an ongoing learning process because even when you're in the relationship, sometimes all this knowledge goes out the window. 
But if you practice it enough and you're quite present and you're conscious about what you're giving in the relationship, then you can often save the relationship from falling apart. Now, if two people loving, love each other very much and it's flowing and you're giving each other what people need, then relationship can really come really neatly together and um, make the relationship really, really powerful, really beautiful, very, very easy. Now, it's all about understanding one another. So the five love languages are very, very powerful tools. Um, and often, this is why marriages fall apart, relationships fall apart very quickly, because we're not giving what each other needs. Um, sometimes things can be disrespectful in actions, or your needs are not being met. Now, some people can rush into relationships and get married very quickly, and then another third party comes in, such as a baby and children. And so then the needs of basically um, two, two people in the relationship have not been completely met. And sometimes this is why marriages fall apart, people often divorce um, sooner than they, than they think, and often we find that there are single parents. Now, and often to save this scenario, then sometimes I cannot guarantee. However, uh, the five love languages are very powerful tools which can really help save you. Again, two people happily willing to learn and to understand each other's needs and wants. It's very simple, but again, two people need to be willing to work hard at it with each other in order to give each other what they need. So look it up, the five love languages. It's very powerful stuff. Uh, there's a book um, called The Five Languages by an author, Gary Chapman. It's a very amazing book. It will open up all your three eyes to, to uh, the relationship world. Um, it's helped me understand more about people and myself and perhaps the things that I've done wrong in the past, which I was giving the person what I needed. And often some people are lucky. They often meet two people, uh, t sorry, two people often meet and straight away they both speak the same love languages. Um, they both understand each other, it flows, it's beautiful. However, two people can really love each other and um, don't understand each other at all and they're not giving each other what they need. Now there's a difference between needs and wants. Needs is the things that you need in your heart, in your life, that keep you topped up, to keep you happy, keep you fulfilled, keep you in passion and in, in the beauty that's around you. And often if uh, your needs are not being met, then you can be depleted, you can be low in energy, your immune system can be low, you can have depression and unhappy. So in order for you to feel much more happy, um, fulfilled and loved up, then it's important to have your love tank filled up. Just imagine that your heart is uh, in here, it is a tank that's empty, and in order to get it filled up and feel topped up and your heart glowing and uh, really bright, then it's important to get what you need. It's it's about compromising in relationships and understanding what each other needs in order for the relationship to feel one, not separate. It's really bad being in a relationship and feeling lonely. And a lot of people do this and they don't know the tools and they feel lost. And sometimes they get married very fast and quick um, for various reasons, um, some unhealthy and some healthy. Um, but again, it's about making sure that both parties are completely happy. The five love languages are very powerful tools. Perhaps you've never heard this before, um, but it's something worth going and looking into and it really open up your eyes to things. So do your research, uh, look it up, uh, read the book, uh, download the audio book, and uh, you'll have a much more deeper understanding about the relationship reality that surrounds us. So thank you for watching and I uh, hope to speak to you soon. Take care, goodbye.